Hi everyone and welcome, I'm Snookus and this is another this is the first episode of a new series in a game called Colony Survival. It's this is quite a new game. Uh, it just came out in um, early access. Um so it's quite easy as of right now and not a lot to do, but I still wanted to show it and make a short series on it. So I'm gonna double the monster amount simply to keep it a bit um challenging and I'm, I'm not gonna have monster on in the daytime we might try that in a in a future colony later on but not right now so uh, i'm gonna name the colony lp village i guess uh, i couldn't put in a space there for some reason but um whatever all right here we go And I know all of this, so I'm simply going to show you instead. Uh, Alright, here we go. Um, I'm going to lower... I'm going to lower... Um, sensitivity just a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Um, here we go. Alright. Okay, so this is a beach. I did not see any water in my in my list last playthrough. I played for a couple hours just to find out how the game works. But uh, all right, let's um, start by plopping down this um, this flag here. Uh, so this flag um, is essentially the center of your town. And uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna place an area where our farmers will um, create some food for us. Right, so that's um, that seems to be uh, the um, the maximum size you can have. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with um, some spacing here. We're probably gonna, not gonna keep this for an entire game, but um, uh, the game recommends that you start off with this. And then we're gonna recruit a couple of colonists, and actually, to actually be able to have colonists, you need to um, put down some beds for them first. So this game, it's uh, it's kind of like um, I suppose I didn't really introduce the game to. Uh, it's kind of like uh, Minecraft, in a way. Uh, although, even though you can take damage and um, and you can fight limit um, uh, somewhat, uh, you can get a bow and arrows and defend the colony yourself. But you're supposed to recruit people to defend it for you. Um, it's mainly about creating a colony and leading it forward. So. You are, even though you are kind of here and helping out, and if you want to, I could uh, harvest these berries and I, I'm gonna cut down these trees and stuff like that. Even though I can't do stuff like this, I'm mainly like an ethereal leader of this colony. So what I'm gonna do next is, um, well, mainly just to show you, I'm gonna take some arrows for myself so I can have when nighttime comes so I can defend this colony. And then I'm gonna place down a quiver. And what a quiver does is, wait, before I do that, I'm gonna, see, what a quiver does is it uh, serves as a, as a post essentially where your um, this defensive units will place down. So uh, as you can see in the top left, draw, um, bottom left corner here, uh, it said we had one unemployment, unemployed position here. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go to banner tool and we're gonna have to hire another colonist. This costs food. Uh, per day and uh, they need a bed and it also costs a, a, um, a flat 50 food units to simply recruit um, So that's what we're doing And uh, now this guy he's not sleeping in the night He's simply gonna stand here all day uh, all day and all night and gonna shoot any monster shots That's gonna come close. So uh, to keep in company. Why don't we place down some of the torches we've been given so that he can um, I don't know, watch the fire, I guess. And um, what we're going to do next is we're going to build essentially a house for our first uh, villagers here. Or colonists, as the game calls it. And in the top right corner you can see how much food we have. 
and how much we use every day and how much arrows we have. So uh, these berry bushes aren't very effective, um, but they are, unlike the other uh, food sources, they are very simple. Other food sources like wheat have to be turned into uh, flour and then have to turn into bread. So there's a bit of a, a chain of... Um, a chain, a resource chain. Uh, so yeah, we have uh, four berries at the moment and they have, they have a full food value of 0 0.6. So I'm gonna start out with building... Uh, right, but before I do that I want to show you... As of right now, when the villagers um, uh, get the berries, they have to walk all the way to our banner and drop it off. If we place down this which is um, a crate. They simply have to walk to the crate and uh, then can go back to picking berries and no reason for them to march all the way over to the banner. Now right now, now that isn't doing much in efficiency uh, improvements, but uh, later on when you build mines and stuff, uh, you are gonna want to have crates down in the mines so the miners don't have to walk all the way up and then uh, drop it off at the banner. But anyway, uh, as you can see, the, the sun is... Uh, setting in the distance and so um, the monster is going to come soon so in the in the spirit of private, preventing our villagers from dying i'm gonna put up a bit of a a bit of a um, provisional shelter here and as you can see it's fairly simple just minecraft controls uh, you can even run uh, which i know is quite late it doesn't make much of a difference but you can and, um, and you see all of the all of the blocks in the game. You can simply hold the left button, um, uh, left mouse button, and you can remove them uh, with equal speed. So what we're gonna do here? I'm gonna uh, prepare this to be a proper barrack. Uh, so for that reason, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you my work here in a second. Um, as you can see, I have an enter there and an enter here, and that. This means I can have three more beds here and the seven beds on this side. And that's the plan for now. And then I'm also gonna make sure that the walls, walls are um, too high so that the zombies or whatever the monsters are, we aren't really told, I believe, what kind of monsters they are, uh, so that they aren't able to get in to the house. And now you might be asking, what's What's stopping you from simply uh, creating a closed loop, like uh, creating a wall that the monsters can't get over and um, which you'd never have to leave, like having a lots of fields within the wall and uh, entirely closing it? Well, the game goes into something called Siege Mode. And see, what Siege Mode is is simply that your villagers start um, consuming food faster and faster and faster and faster until it's eventually empty. So you can do it in short spurts, I suppose, but uh, it, it's not gonna work long term. So as you can see, there are some monsters over there. We have one guy walking here. I can't really decide if it's a zombie or whatever it is, but uh, maybe possessed or something. As you can see, he does make some simple uh, attempts to follow me around, but uh, generally, if I keep the distance, they are gonna first of all uh, aim at the sleeping villagers, but if um, archers or guards, whatever you wanna call them, or closer, they are gonna aim, uh, aim for those. So uh, let's just kill this guy. If I can aim. Hey, and you saw how the how the defense works. It's uh, really that simple. So uh, well, after after the night's done, I can simply remove this quiver and move it around, and this guy will take up the new position. So over time, I'm gonna hopefully create a bit of a castle here with um, proper walls, sort of stone instead of wood and stuff like that. So this is the only enemy, uh, or the mon only a monster in the game as of now. It still gets a, a bit hectic because you are gonna deplete your arrows, arrows quite quick, especially now when I shows double the amount of enemies. But also um, in the base game, uh, it's simply a matter of time. So you have to s uh, set up a proper uh, resource chain to get enough uh, iron, iron and um, wood, and uh, guys that craft the arrows and stuff like that. And you also need a food output to support that. So you're going to need a bunch of fields, a bunch of bushes, and um, stuff like that. So I'm simply helping our guy out here. And it's not like we have much else to do at the moment. Um, 
but in the future I'm um, I'm hoping that they're gonna put in um, more stuff. They say they say they want to put in more factions. They want to put in more monsters. They hopefully they'll put in stuff like maybe fire, so fire fire can spread and burn down your huts. So there's no reason to uh, simply build it uh, build everything out of wood since it's much more cheaper. Uh, but um, it's kind of hard to tell from now. I guess we will have to see how um, how they handle their development here in early access. They are a Dutch company, and uh, so far they seem to have been doing uh, some pretty good work. Um, since I uh, bought it a couple of days ago, there's already been an update which added some um, uh, some steps in food production, and I can't really remember everything, but some small stuff anyway. Uh, which is better than nothing so uh, hopefully they're gonna keep uh, going that that direction and uh, for anyone that's uh, that's uh, that loved minecraft for what it is just like building things and having fun it's most likely gonna like this as well because it means less personal uh, resource collection there's gonna be some of it now in the beginning but as um as we get on go on with the game the villagers or the, the colonists are gonna do more and more of the work um, so you can focus on the, the management, which there isn't a lot of yet, but what there is. And also simply building a cool place for your colonists to live in. Uh, so as you can see, as, you, as you're gonna see, it's really simple uh, to take things down. Now, now I'm gonna build... Um, well, first of all, I'm gonna build a couple of beds because we do need them. And... Um, Simply so, so that we do have them if we want to recruit. And then, then I'm also going to... For now, I do want to jumpstart uh, a field. But before I do that, I'm simply going to get another berry farm. Uh, so that we can... Sustain them. Um, sustain our whole colony long term. Whoops, did I... Nope. Uh, I, I thought I hired one too many because I saw this guy next to the banner, but that uh, was just um, me mistaking uh, his, him from an unemployed co colonist. So as we see here, we now have um, three berry farmers and they are gonna stock up, uh, up some food for us. And in the next expansion, which I'm gonna do tomorrow, I think we're gonna... Um, put in a wheat field as well. So, I was um, climbing to the roof here, I'm gonna build a roof. And as I said, for right now there's no reason for, to have a roof really, but uh, it looks nice and uh, that's always fun. And uh, I haven't played Minecraft in a while, so you'll have to excuse my building skills, um, both architecturally and simply. In the technique I use, I'm um, I'm mainly just uh, doing what I feel at the moment. If you uh, have any suggestions to how to um, how to build, I'm uh, I'll uh, welcome all of that. It's um, always nice to hear suggestions. So uh, if you have any ideas, just just send them in. I'll uh, very much appreciate it. And now we're out of stone, so we have to do something about that. So we're gonna, first of all, we're gonna take this. And as I saw, I jumped from too high of a distance, and now you can see the green meter above the crown down in the bottom there. And that's my life. And um, my life will automatically regenerate to 50%. Uh, but if I want to heal above that, I need to eat bread. So that's one of the more, uh, one more um, system which is connected to the overall uh, production of the colony, and uh, in which the character that you play are actually a character in the game. So, to fix that, uh, our lack of stone that is, we're gonna dig a mine. <laughs> Very Minecraft. And uh, even though there's digging in the game and mining, it's not really as extensive as, as it is in Minecraft and not really, not, not at all the focus of the game overall. But, yeah, um, Hopefully I won't run into any big spiders down here. Um, I 
remember when I when I used to play Minecraft, at least in the early days when I this was this was many years ago when I was still quite young. Um, when I saw the red spider eyes of spiders in Minecraft, I don't know if you recognize that, but um, in the before Minecraft was very popular, you um, you didn't really know that much about about the monsters. So. Um, the monsters or uh, recipes or anything, it was very much simply learning what the game was about yourself and then the wikis came and explained everything and so on. But anyway, I remember mining and seeing red eyes in the distance and those creepy sounds that you could hear sometimes in Minecraft. I don't know if you recognize that. And yes, yeah, it was quite quite uh, spoopy. So um, hopefully we'll, we won't um, run into guys like that. But anyway, uh, we are now at Bedrock, so as you can see there's there's a bunch of um, resources here as well as simply Bedrock. So Bedrock is simply an unlimited amount of rock or uh, stone. So you can hire a miner and simply tell him to mine this square here and he's gonna fulfill, uh, simply give you stone in the, um, infinitely. And this I'm guessing is salt maybe? Or silver? Gypsum? No idea what that is. And this is coal I'm guessing. And I'm right. So what we're gonna do in the future is we're gonna hire a guy to dig stone, one to dig gypsum and one to dig coal. And also when we find it, gold and iron and most importantly iron. So what we're doing here is simply, so this is gold, uh, running around here seeing if you can find some iron. And if you can that would be quite helpful. So here we did. So there, now there's no real uh, reason to uh, keep mining. So unlike Minecraft, you simply dig a simple shaft. I hope this game adds stairs because right now it's quite uh, burdensome to simply press. Now I, I kind of got the hang of it, but if you uh, move too close to the to the square, you kind of have to press uh, space a couple of a couple maybe three times before. The game registers that you want to jump, so you kind of have to uh, time it so you jump before you walk too close to the next step. Anyway, um, as I said, unlike Minecraft, you only have to dig pretty much one uh, shaft, place a cr crate down there, and then your miners will walk down there every morning and continue digging. And no reason to keep digging and finding more resources. Uh, I know if that is plan if the plan is to keep it that way or not, but that is how it is right now. Anyway. So what I'm gonna do now already is I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do it on this side I think. Well, first of all, I'm gonna dig this tree, and just like Minecraft, although a bit quicker, as soon as you dig all the logs from a tree, the leaves disappear. You can still cut the leaves um, separately separately if you really want to, but uh, there's no real and uh, you don't have to worry about uh, leaves getting stuck in the air. So let's uh, get a wheat farm uh, farmer over here. Uh, if I'm guessing the wall is going to be maybe like here. So I'm going to walk over a little bit to like here and then let's go. And it can be a hundred squares. Oh, sorry. I just accidentally hit the mic. It can be a um, hundred squares max exactly. So as you can see, this, this is a nice little wheat field. Uh, so I'm gonna hire two colonists now. One to uh, man the other quiver that I showed you before and one to uh, work this field tomorrow. And every um, every guard that you hire you have to give uh, a bow. So uh, they simply won't um, they won't just uh, walk up to a guard post and stand there without a bow and like look at enemy you have to give them a bow so they will actually shoot as well. But while we wait for the Monster to show up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna play throughout this whole night before I end the episode. But uh, while we wait for the monster to show up, I'm uh, gonna continue building here. And it's gonna be a very rudimentary hut, as I said. Uh, and when we get going uh, for real in building the base, I'm hopefully gonna be able to build some more complex buildings. But uh, we'll see. I don't promise anything. I'm not gonna promise anything when I've I haven't played Minecraft in uh, well uh, at least a couple of years. And while Minecraft is a great game, 
I feel like this game kind of fulfills a niche that Minecraft... At least I wanted Minecraft to fill, but never did. Which was kind of like, not only building a personal base, but building a base for... For a little settlement. So you had villages and you could play online, and online is always fun, of course. But there's no real management aspect. And there were some mods which I tried, I tried out sometimes, but generally they were quite... Well, they were quite awkward, uh, weren't they? I'm, I'm sure plenty of you have some experience with uh, bad mods. Not necessarily that they were bad even, but it's kind of hard to mod in wholesale mechanics in a game. Uh, they're generally quite... Um, uh, quite superficial. So um, I'm guessing there's some kind of spawn area over there, um, since these guys are all walking online. So let's just... Can't really shoot that fast either, but um, not that you need to right now. But okay, so we can. I think we kind of need to help this guy because um, there's a risk that they are gonna come around this corner here and uh, outnumber him, and we wouldn't really want that now. So also just so I don't fall in here, I'm gonna place this here and place a torch. So remember that this is mine. Um, and the monster can also hurt you personally, not only your um, your colonists. And you really need to be careful because if uh, a monster even gets like this close, this guy is gonna die instantly. And if they manage to get in here, they are simply gonna walk like stab, 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 and they're all dead. So um, you're gonna keep that in mind. Oh crap. So until we manage to build um, build a wall, we are gonna have to do some guard duty personally as well. But that's just how it is at the moment. I'm also gonna move this banner to a more um, maybe a square or something, like a town square, uh, when uh, when we have uh, developed our village a bit more. But yeah, overall I, I quite like this game. It's very bare bones still, but uh, it's. Uh, it's promising, and I like promising games, and the developer seems to be uh, passionate about what they're doing. And another tactic you can employ is simply to walk close to these guys and then kite them around until they comes uh, when they will uh, burn up. They will die, they don't burn like uh, in Minecraft, but I suppose it's the same implication. And you can see the, the sun coming up and the moon slowly nearing the horizon over there. And I kind of like having some uh, berry bushes, so even though, even when we have moved to a fully agricultural economy here and uh, started with only wheat farms, and um, let's see here, um, flax farms, um, we're still gonna keep these three uh, berry farms, kind of like a royal garden or something. And as we, right now, there aren't too many professions, there are like maybe a dozen or something. And they said on their Steam page that they are planning on adding more and hopefully I kind of hope that they'll follow the development schedule or at least the um, rhythm of um, the developers from PlayerUnknown's Battleground. But anyway, I'm gonna, unfortunately it doesn't pause when they do this, uh, I'm gonna end it here for now. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, please um, press that like button, smash that like button as all the big YouTubers say if you want to see more of this or... Um, um, quietly press the thumbs down button if you want to see something else or um, and yeah consider subscribing if you want to see more and uh, otherwise I'll see you next time have a day have a bad have a good day bye bye